pretty shiny spider. But what really caught my eye was this here, a mantispid. Some people call them mantis flies. I don't love that term because it's a neuropteran, which doesn't necessarily mean you can't call things that are neuroptera have the word flies in there with them, but there is actually a species of diptera that has raptorial forearms. This is related to lace wings in the order Neuroptera. We'll come back to this in a minute. There's another thing I really don't want you to miss. And that I don't want to miss. It's this longhorn beetle down here. And it is just so, so beautiful. There are five species of monolema, cactus longhorn beetles here in the United States. and. A couple of them have antennae like that, banded. This one here can't be in that genus, but sure reminds me of them a lot. And I don't know if I've ever seen a prettier longhorn beetle that wasn't like shiny and metallic as a few of them are. This is just gorgeous. And I'm really enjoying even looking at these bugs attracted to, well, there's another longhorn, the incandescent. Oh no, it's not even an incandescent. It's a fluorescent coiled light. Here's another amazing looking longhorn beetle right here. Look at the patterning on that. Oh. And I don't even know what family of beetles that little one is in. Cruising right along. And when I was down here a moment ago, I saw another Neuropteran, a green lacewing. Many of you are familiar with them, and when we get in really close, their eyes look really, really cool. I don't want to step on this beautiful beetle right here. And while we're talking about Neuroptera again, let's check on our Mantispid. They are in the family Mantispidae. That green lacewing was Chrysopidae. Both are in the order Neuroptera. They share it with antlions, famous for their little pits. And like mantises, these ones with their raptorial forearms capture prey. Not uncommon to see these. The genus is Pliga, hunting near porch lights here in the desert. And there, a good look at the raptorial forearms as it cleans them. I think it was just finishing up a meal or perhaps when I moved it just slightly so that we could take some better video of it. I disturbed it, trying very careful not to step on things as I move around here a little bit. I want you to be able to see what their eyes look like because if you get the right angle on it, they're just beautiful. They look like galaxies. Let's get that. And so we're looking at that longhorn, and I found another down here. Well. Here's another one of those snowy tree crickets. It's hard to get to the bugs sometimes that I'm trying to show you because I see something else just super interesting along the way. But I swear, on this day in history, I became a huge fan for the first time ever of longhorn beetles. Living down here in Sonoida, Arizona, it's definitely changing my interest in things. Probably only ever saw, saw about three species of longhorn beetles in my yards in Portland, Oregon. And now three species just here at the lights and the colors on them and the patterns. 
I, uh, I'm a fan, what can I say? And this isn't even a black light. Let's just take a look at this moth. You're a lot of squeaking near me. What is... Where is that coming from? really interesting moth right there. So fuzzy. Can't be, but I wonder if it's a ghost moth. Hmm. Neuroptera means nerve-winged insects. And you can see a lot of patterning in there. I'm gonna get in here a little closer on this. Really get a good shot of the feeding and that eye. Leaf Hopper entered the scene there very briefly. See just down here, I've got a lynx spider. You can see that there, pretty hairy spiders. Well, bristly would be a better word. From this angle, kind of hard to do this freehand. There we go. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching.